Hi everyone, welcome back to my wonderful channel. Today we are going to resolve your bread problems. That's right. What if you want to make a loaf of bread but you don't want to go through the fuss of buying yeast, waiting for the bread to rise and all of that jazz and you just want a quick loaf. I've got you guys. I'm making cornbread today and all you need is ingredients that are probably already in your cupboard. So follow along, click like and subscribe if you haven't. Let's get straight into it. So we it. are going to get started you guys. As you guys know, you must always wash your hands, make sure everything is clean, remove all your jewelry and we are about to start. In this bowl, I've got one cup of all-purpose flour and I'm going to add to that Let me just see if I can grab this thing um, So maize meal Any that you can find really. If you can find the yellow one, it's better It's gonna make for a better color for this recipe And you also just want to add a cup I'm gonna eyeball it because I've been making this bread a while now So That's about one cup of cornmeal or maize meal and then we are going to need our salt. Okay, we adding one full teaspoon of salt. This is breaded savory, so don't be shy with the salt. That's a half. And that's a full teaspoon. And we're also gonna need, I know it's gonna sound weird, but we need about a teaspoon of sugar. We're not going to use the traditional two tablespoons because we are using sweet corn and then we are going to come in with our one heaped teaspoon that was a bit less of baking powder this is where the magic comes in <laughs> this is what's going to help us and we also need half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda or baking soda if you are in America so we're gonna put that over there and I like to spice mine up so I like to use ground white pepper in my recipe just a half a teaspoon of that don't go too overboard because it can get a bit overpowering and because we didn't sift our ingredients we are just going to mix them up really well before we add our dry the good thing about this recipe is that it is a one bowl recipe so you don't need many many bowls for this recipe now we are going to come in with our wet ingredients first up we have half a cup of melted margarine or butter put that in there you can use oil if you do not have then we're gonna come through with two large eggs plonk everything inside there you see how easy it is everything just goes in and here we have two one five grams of um, sweet corn and this is why I didn't add as much sugar as most recipes you guys might have come across and that's it you guys literally we're just gonna mix this up that's the whole recipe how quick was that it does not need any kneading, it does not need any rising, so once this is mixed up, you are basically done. Make sure there aren't any flower pockets at the bottom. And basically, that's it. So here's our uh, bread tin. We have oiled and floured it and we have preheated our oven to 200 degrees Celsius. So we're going to put this straight in. I don't know where my spatula is but just plonk everything. Into our preheated oven it goes and it is going to cook for about 30 minutes or until a skewer is twisted in the middle comes out clean. 30 minutes has now gone by, we're going to check if our bread is ready to come out the oven. Take your skewer and set it right in the middle and if it comes out free of wet batter, just like that, then it is done. Let us take this out and wait for it to cool. 
we are now going to take our bread out so let me just put it here so you can see what I'm doing let's bring it closer so I'm just going to loosen the sides to make sure that it comes out and just turn it over here we go just handle it very gently it's cut straight here in the middle and that's what it looks like no wet spots it's spongy and soft. I'm now going to take a bite of this deliciousness and see what is happening in here. Um, let's go for it. It's got a, a sweet note to it, but that's the sweet corn. But it's savory enough to make sandwiches with and it's so moist. You guys won't be sorry. So all your lunch boxes all your toasties and everything that you may need bread for this week. I'm telling you guys, this is the recipe. You're not going to be sorry. Thank you so much for joining me for this recipe. I will see you guys for the next one. Bye.